What's going on guys, it's Strategic and I'm back with another video for you guys. And as you can see today, we're going to be upgrading our ROG Ally to a Sabrent PCIe 4.0 M.2 2 terabyte drive. And I am going to be using the iFu electric screwdriver kit. By no means is this something that you necessarily need. This is just a kit that I like. You can use a standard Phillips screwdriver set if you have one or you can use an iFixit kit if you have one as well. If not, you can easily purchase one off of Amazon. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is check our BIOS. It is very, very important that we are on the latest BIOS, which is 319. If you are not on 319, I do heavily recommend upgrading to it just to make the process as streamlined as possible. In order to figure out what BIOS you're on, we're going to go to the start menu and then we're going to go to ASUS or my ASUS. And here we go. Once we get that open up, it is going to ask you to create an account. You don't necessarily need to create one, but it is helpful if you want to keep everything logged uh, for, I guess you could say, ease of use purposes. Once you're in there, you're going to click system info. Once you've clicked system info, it's going to come up with all the information regarding your ally. Now, I have already updated my system to 319, so I don't need to do that portion. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into the disassembly and the installation of the SSD. If you're not on there, it should prompt you for you to do a download to the BIOS and then it'll be a simple update. It is pretty automated. So once you go through that situation with updating it from 317 or whatever BIOS you're on, it's a pretty automatic install. It can take a little bit of time. So keep that in mind. Again, super, super easy process. So now that we're updated to 319, in my case, I'm already there. We're going to go ahead and power this device off. Just here, shut down and boom. Now the system is shut down. I'm going to go ahead and get this prepped. That way I can go ahead and get this thing easily taken care of. The beautiful thing about this ROG Ally, it is extremely easy to do this. It's nothing too complicated, no matter what your PC knowledge is. We're going to be basically taking out five screws. The six screw is a screw that does not come out or it is not necessary for you to pull it out. So don't get, you know, in shock if it's not coming out, which screw that's going to be. It's going to be the screw right here. So give me just a second. I'm going to go ahead and get these pulled out. Hang tight. And we got about two more screws left. Might have to loosen these a little bit further. And we do want to use a pry tool if we have one available. This makes the job a lot easier um, when it comes to popping this guy open. Don't worry, unlike the Steam Deck, there are no ribbons in here that you have to worry about breaking doing this process. So, relax. I do have pretty long nails, so I can pop this guy out pretty easily, no problem. Right. got this screw here and all these screws are the same length so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up or what screw went where so that's another thing that you can relax on as you guys can see that screw is still in there and that's not something that you have to take out and once we've gotten this back panel off I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the battery just for a safety precaution battery cable is gonna be right here as you can see let me get that in focus on the camera so once that back is off, like I said, you can unplug the battery by simply pulling it out. You don't need to provide a lot of force to it. It's not necessary. It's very easy to do. And what I'm doing is there's a single screw here on that SSD card that I'm going to simply remove. That way I can have some play with that SSD. I'm going to hold this back flat together. Simply just put my nail under there and pull it out. And boom, just like that. I have that SSD free, as you can see. Super, super easy. Get this new one opened up. I am super, super excited about this, guys. Ah, this is a well needed upgrade. Um, I've seen the nightmare stories that are happening with people that are using micro SDs overheating and whatnot. Some people are saying it's because they are trying to ruin or run full fledged games off of there, which I can definitely see being very uh problematic with these games being very demanding and micro sds not necessarily meant to run um 
games or AAA titles off of. As you guys can see, it simply slides right back into the slot, just how we took the old one out. Very, very easy. You don't need to put a lot of force on there. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the screw that holds down that bracket, or I'm sorry, that SSD. Just give me just a second. Ugh, should have magnetized this. Would have made it a lot easier for myself. Look at that. That is one thing I really love about this kit. I'm able to just magnetize any bit that I want to use and make it super easy to hold on to these screws. Now, don't forget we did unplug this battery, so we need to plug that back in before we sit up here and power back on that device and also close it up. So now that everything is back in place, I'm just gonna carefully realign everything and clip it back in. You're gonna hear a couple of snaps, just slowly go around the entire device. Take your time, we're in no rush here. Let's sit that back down and I am gonna go ahead and re-tighten this middle screw at the bottom. And I'm gonna use that as basically my starting point. I'm gonna just get these screws re back reinstalled. Hoping to making this tutorial easy for you guys. If you really enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It goes a long way and I heavily appreciate it. I love doing these videos for you guys. I love handhelds and just tech in general. So again, appreciate you guys. Putting our last three screws in at the top. And like I said, keep in mind, none of these screws are any different in length. They are all the same. So it does not matter which way you install them. But for OCD purposes, you are more than welcome <laughs> to uh, line them up or set up your setup however you see fit. I just love how easy it is to work on this thing. I can't wait to see what the future looks like for modding this. All right, so all of our screws are back in there. Now, of course, this is gonna take some time to update. I'm gonna go ahead and press the volume, uh, the plus button on the volume button and the power button down at the same time. And I'm gonna wait for that boot. Ah, definitely forgot I do have to plug this guy in. Give me just a second, guys. Boom. I'm gonna do volume up, power button. I'm gonna see the screen power on, takes a few seconds. Come on. There we go. So now once we press that volume up and power button, we're gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna automatically boot into the BIOS and that is where we're gonna do the cloud recovery. So this is gonna take a few seconds. I'm just gonna let that sit down there and we will just wait. I'm gonna do this all in real time. I'm gonna to try to avoid cuts if I can. But again, keep in mind, this does take a little bit of time. So if you're in a rush, hold off. <laughs> Let's see, come on, come on. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate such a simple process with upgrading this SSD. Not that the Steam Deck was hard by any means, but this was just absolutely night and day as far as ease of doing this. All right, so now that we're in the advanced setup, or I'm sorry, the easy setup, we're gonna go to the advanced setup by clicking Y. Once we've clicked the Y, we're going to scroll down to, or we're going to scroll over to advance, which is going to be here, right there. You can tap it with your finger and we're going to click cloud recovery, which is the first option there. We're going to click view policy and then we're going to agree, agree. Now this is a new SSD, so it's going to prompt us to back it up, which there is nothing to back up. So I'm just going to go through that situation and let it do its thing. It's letting me know it can't connect to the network. And I'm just simply gonna put in my Wi-Fi password. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. All right, so I got that Wi-Fi set up. So I'm just gonna click next once I've connected to my Wi-Fi, which I have. And I'm just gonna let it go through its setup. All right. So letting you know that the recovery files are ready for download and you're going to start downloading your files now keep in mind this is an automated process that takes about 40 minutes give or take so 
So just be prepared that you are going to have to be patient with it. But once you've done that, the device is going to reset itself up and reinstall Armory Crate and all the drivers for you. You don't need to touch anything. You don't need to sit up here and install anything in addition to. Again, do not turn this device off. Do not mess with it while it's doing this automated process. But once it's done, you'll be good to go to sign back into everything and continue where you left off. I hope this helped you guys out. I can't wait to do more videos in the future as things become more accessible to the uh, ASUS ally. Thank you so much and peace.